Born in 1836, Winslow Homer is regarded by many as one of the greatest American painters of the 19th century. He was born and raised in the Cambridge area. The first artwork he did was in Boston. Early in his career, he worked in oil paintings. The same year, he was sent in Virginia, where he worked as a front editor and design chief for Harper's Weekly. Some of the earliest artwork he created from the Civil War date back to 1863 and are quite similar to the prints that he did. Although there were no similarities in the work of Winslow Homer and other French painters, he did share quite a few interests with painters and artists in the region. Much of the artwork that Winslow Homer did during this period were children playing in the park or parents with their children playing outside. By 1875, the great success he had created with these watercolors allowed him to get away from the freelance work he was doing and gave him more time to make artwork. From the summer of 1883 until his death, Winslow Homer resided in a small town in Oregon. Much of the artwork he did during his final years were the best watercolors that he created in his career. Being so alone was what he enjoyed later in his life. Homer died in 1910. Much of his day work is in museums in Boston and New York City and is his best work.